You guys, I really, I really honestly, truly honestly think I'm playing against Stevie Wonder. I think I'm playing against Stevie Wonder 100%. I'm just a QB spy here. QB spy. Oh my god! Look at that! No, I'm about to go in. Tell me that I couldn't do it, but I gotta bring it back. So they really know I'm with it. Let's go. Tell me where you're from, where you stay. Now I keep it lit from the coast to the bay. Peace on the right. If you guys are looking for cheap and instant Madden Ultimate Team coins, be sure to head over to muttcoinbank.com and use promo code MAZE at checkout for 20% off. You guys, something just came to me the other day, and I, I've really been thinking about it a lot. And that's the fact that you never know what day you're going to wake up and just lose one of your hands. I mean, what am I supposed to do in that situation if I lose a hand? Am I supposed to stop playing Madden? Of course not. That's ridiculous. If I lose one of my hands, I would still need to find a way to play Madden every day. So I figure it's always better to be prepared. And what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start training playing with one hand. So in today's video, that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to try to play a game without even using the analog stick. So details of how this is going to be working is I'm going to be able to make all my pre-snap adjustments. Uh, I can use both sticks, the full controller. But once I hike the ball or once the ball is hiked when I'm on defense, I'm no longer allowed to touch my analog sticks. I can only press the buttons or press nothing and let the computer take over. So essentially, it's all going to come down to my play calling, my adjustments, and then uh, my reads on offense. I'm not going to be able to roll out with the quarterback. I'm not going to be able to run after the catch or anything like that. And hopefully, if I keep doing this, I'll be good enough to where one day when I lose on my hands, I'll still be able to play Madden. It's a Tuesday, so we're hopping into Draft Champions, getting some Tuesday Night Drafts. I actually don't even know if Tuesday Night Drafts is still a thing. But we are going to be choosing our playbook right now. We got the Colts offense and defense. That's a playbook I'm pretty comfortable with, so hopefully that's going to be okay. And here we're getting our quarterback. First round, who are we going to get? And I don't think this is Tuesday Night Drafts because this is not a very good round. But because I'm not able to use my analog sticks, I don't really care how mobile the quarterback is. So uh, that's not going to really make a difference to me. I do care about throw power. Probably going to be going with Stafford right here. 95 throw power is pretty solid. And into our legend round, who are we going to get, baby? Uh, Sean Taylor is pretty solid. Uh, I'm not going to be really doing too much on defense. So I'm going to be wanting uh, probably some good receivers. I'm going to go with Brandon Marshall here for sure. I'm going with the left end. I want to get a good pass rush because I'm not able to control my defense really at all. And here's a good round. Uh, Latavius Murray's pretty solid. But I think I want to go with Vernon Davis. He's a really good tight end. Going here with the cornerback. It's always good to build up the secondary. Another elite round. And this is a pretty solid round. Okay, Larry Fitzgerald uh, might be the leading only 85 speed i'm going andrew whitworth i can't deal with 85 speed that's way too slow for me i think i'm going with the outside linebacker right here chandler jones gonna be taking dontrell inman need another good receiver i think i'm gonna go with danny woodhead because i'm gonna be passing the ball a lot i know he's pretty good in the past game strong safety like i said build up the secondary i'm taking the center right here greg manx i'm going to be taking uh Jarrell casey 90 overall right end like i said i need a good pass rush another elite round and ooh, paul plus Pozlusny. I can never say this dude's name. I swear to God. Paul Pozlusny. Pozlusny. That sounds good. Paul Pozlusny. All right. Here I'm taking the right guard. And here we go to our last round. Let's see if this is a legends round or something like that. Okay. This is a pretty good round. Pretty good round. I got to go with Sherman here. Uh, definitely got to go with Sherman. I already have two receivers. So need another corner. Final squad right here. Not too bad. Actually, it wasn't Tuesday night drafts. I don't think because the team is not that good. So I do think they ended Tuesday night drafts. I remember them saying that. But overall, uh, going into this challenge, I think defense is going to be the hard part because uh, I literally am not going to be able to use her anybody because I can't use my analog sticks. So um, defense is probably going to be the hard part. But uh, let's just see how it goes. Okay, so like I said before, uh, before the play, I'm allowed to make adjustments. So I'm going to do that. And then once I start, though, I cannot. So here, as you see, I'm not... Get over here! I hit, hit sticked on the first play. I just pressed square. I... Okay, so maybe I found my groove a little bit. All right, so like pretty much every play, I'm gonna have to hold my controller up just to prove, prove I'm not doing anything. All right, nothing, nothing here, nothing here. He's he's rolling out. I want to send somebody. I'm sending the. What does he do? I'm trying to talk and get some commentary in, but Nesto keeps going off sides. So, um, my boy, what? Back in another game, uh, I don't really know what that last guy was doing, but um, let's hope this guy doesn't do the same thing. And that looks like an intercept. First play? Come on, man. There was like three guys there. I'm just going to try to ball out, man. One-handed. Let's go. Gerald Casey not able to do much. Give me... Okay. 
man. I'm starting to see now where things are going to be getting tricky. It's going to be, uh, obviously using a D-line is not what I want to be doing, especially when I'm not getting a pressure. And here, we get an interception. That, that was all me, dude. That was, that was pretty much all me, even though I didn't do anything. It was still all me. I see Brandon Marshall. I, I can't control him now. This is just a computer. And okay, hey, I'll take that. On a drag, I get 21 yards. That's solid. Looks like a blitz of some sort coming off the edge there. Oh no, that's a fump. No. Got he got no, I can't even I can't catch up to him. Danny Woodhead, please catch him. Please catch him, Danny Woodhead. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, so obviously now I know the opponent's got blitzes in the mix. Blitzes are in the mix now. Oh, that was almost another interception. That was so close. Third down in the red zone. This is where the difference is made. I gotta hold strong here. Um, I really wish I could use her. It's really frustrating not to be able to use her. Give me that. That's a user lurk, and I wasn't even using my analog stick, man. That's how strong the users are. My dude is sending heavy blitzes. Sending the blitzes heavy. All right, let's see if we can get Brandon Marshall. Brandon Marshall, rat catch it, baby. Keep running. You're fast. He's faster than him. He's faster than him. That's going to be a touchdown as the first quarter runs out. Good job, Brandon Marshall. Way to beat your man. All right, he's obviously going for pass here. Empty backfield. Empty backfield, and he's throwing it right into coverage, triple coverage again. None of my guys are coming down with it. You guys, I really, I really, honestly, truly, honestly think I'm playing against Stevie Wonder. I think I'm playing against Stevie Wonder 100%. I'm just a QB Daddy. spy here. QB spy. Oh my God! Look at that. Let's go. Catch it, baby. Catch it. Did he catch that? 17 yard line. It's fourth and one. Fourth and one, but I'm going for this. Fourth and one, I'm going for this. I don't care. I don't care. Let's go. Fourth and one. This is where winners are made. This is where winners are made. That's not a good throw. That was a really bad throw. As I criticize my opponent, call him Stevie Wonder, I do the same thing. So uh, hopefully I can get a stop here. Dude, he really is Stevie Wonder. What are these reads? Second and 10. Where is he going? Where is he going? Again. Again. This dude really like doesn't want to find an open receiver. Fake. Really? Really? Here we are on the 17 yard line. This looks like a beautiful time to run the ball. Actually, it looks like a blitz. I'm audible into this and I'm, I'm looking for Brandon Marshall. That's what I'm looking for. Yep, he's going to be open. He's going to be open and he's going to get in for the touchdown. He is second of the day for Brandon Marshall. You can't guard that man. Second and 15. He's throwing it right at my user. Is that another user lurk? I think it is. I really think it is. All right, first and 10. I got to score here. I think if I score here, it's putting the dagger in him. He's going to be done. Oh, Kendall Wright fighting it off. Oh, is he? Oh, 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 that was such a good play. All I got to do is press X. And ready? Three, two, one. That's all it takes. <sighs> all right, he's getting the ball back. Hopefully, I don't know if you see, this guy does not seem to know what he's doing at all. Give me this, give me this. User pick, dude. A user pick with one hand. I've had, that's I think my third user pick with one hand. Here it comes, yep, this has gotta be it. This has gotta be it. This is embarrassing, Henry. Henry, this is embarrassing, what do you? Get this guy up out of here, man. I'm really feeling so much better now, you guys. Now that I know that if one of these days I just lose one of my hands, I can still play Madden. I can still do YouTube. It's going to be okay. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys want to see any other challenges or have ideas of your own, put them in the comments. I'll try to do some other ones. You know, it's winding down to the end of the year, so I'm trying to mix it up, get a little creative. So if you guys have any ideas or things you want to see, be sure to leave it down below. Don't forget to check out the giveaway I'm doing for 10,000 subscribers. You got to be subscribed, though, so hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next video video.